Okay, now we move on to certain qualities of God and we want to see how we can argue for them. First in the book there is a list of few uh, qualities of God and then we explain the uh, way we have come up with these concepts later. One is that God is knowledgeable, God is alim, or God is alim, or God is alam, or God is alam. These are different things that we use in the Quran to say that God is knowledgeable. Some shows that God is knowledgeable, some shows that God is permanently knowledgeable, some shows that God is very knowledgeable, God, some shows that God is the most knowledgeable. Inshallah in Sarf, in Arabic morphology, you understand the difference between Esme Fa'il, Sifat Mushabbah, Sighiyah, Mubalagh, Esme Tafzil. Anyway, there are different things that we use to say that God is knowledgeable. So one of the things that Inshallah we have to show is why we believe God is knowledgeable. I'm just giving you the list. The list. The second thing in the list is Qadr. God, Qadr comes from Qudra, power. God is powerful. Okay? Actually, God is omnipotent. God can do everything. He is capable of doing everything. So this concept of power of God is very important. The third concept is Hay. God is living. God has life. Not only he creates life, he himself also has life. Inshallah we'll talk about it. Another concept is Murid. Coming from Erada. Erada means will. God has will. God is not doing things without wanting to do things you know if you have fire and next to that fire there is a material there's wood there's paper the fire burns wood or paper without fire having any will any decision this happens just automatically okay or if you have water and then you put in something inside water it becomes you know wet but Water doesn't have any decision, any will. This happens. God's actions are not without him wanting to do them. It's not that God is forced by outside and external factor, or God is forced by his nature to do things without having any control. So will of God is very important. Another quality is that God is Qadim. God is eternal. Azali. Azali, it's like eternal in English. In English, when we say eternal, it means something has no beginning. Sometimes it means it has no beginning and no end. So eternal can mean one of the two. Sometimes the emphasis is on both sides. God is Azali and Qadim. Means he has no beginning and he has no end. There is no beginning for God. Nothing was before God. Nothing preceded God. Or there was no time that God didn't exist. He has no beginning. It means that he was always there. And also there is no end. It's not that God is going to stop is going to cease to exist. He is the first and he is the last. And everything else starts and ends in God. Mm -hmm.